In India, nobody talks about periods. It's treated like a bad word, a curse. What's worse, as soon as they hit puberty, girls are introduced to many different don'ts. Don't worship, don't enter the kitchen, and the most ridiculous one, don't touch the pickle. Almost every home stores pickle in a jar that looks like this. And menstruating women are not allowed to touch this jar, as it is believed if impure women touch it, the pickle will rot. Whisper decided it was time to bust these myths. So we launched Whisper Touch the Pickle, giving women a voice to challenge period taboos. We started with a bold film showing a young woman defying tradition and touching the pickle jar. It opened the floodgates of opinion and debates. It became a platform for women to question, ridicule, and bust these period taboos. At a press event, India's leading Bollywood star almost punched the journalist who termed periods as a problem. Problem? <laughs> you need to start respecting girls. This became national news and even Scoop Whoop spread the word. Stand-up comics picked it up. Just by touching it, just imagine the power of an army of menstruating women. It was even talked about at TED. We dream of a future where menstruation is not a taboo, not a curse. Whisper tied up with Aditi Gupta and launched comic books about the subject. At a recent event in Delhi University, women began writing messages on their pads. A subject that was once hidden was now an open debate. But the most important thing was, Indians were finally speaking about it. Sanitary napkin not acceptable. Is menstruation not acceptable? Or are women as whole not acceptable to the society? Over 2.9 million women pledged to touch the pickle. Earn media worth $6.1 million. Whisper's share of voice grew from 21% to 91%. And so did the voice of women. Yeah, she touched the pickle!